So hi, good evening. How are you guys? How do you feel? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Hi, Franklin. Good to see you. Qué bueno verlo. Hey, good night, teacher. Good no sé si me escucha. Yes. Okay. Yes, we can to you. Okay, guys. So what about your weekend? How was it? How was your weekend? How was your weekend? Good, so so. Did you go out? Uh-huh. How was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? Uh, <laughs> explosivo. <laughs> okay, so good evening, Jose. All right, so uh, let's see what about yours, Marco? How was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? Good. And ya con internet, por cierto. Ah, okay, Michael. I'm happy, okay, that you are here. Excellent, okay. Qué bueno verlo también el día de ahora, okay. Me alegro que hayan resuelto lo del internet, Marco. All right. So we are going to start with today's class. And today we have different things to cover, guys. And we are going to cover, um, basically, today we are going to learn a lot of new vocabulary. And you are going to speak a lot. Okay, we are going to cover grammar as well, but um, we are going to make a review on the things that we have covered so far, and we are going to practice. Okay, so el día de ahora vamos a hacer un review de la mayor parte de cosas que hemos visto, pero van a practicar muchísimo. Okay, so then we are going to start and today's agenda, but first the quote of the day. Can you please help us reading the quote of this day, Franklin? Read it. Eh, lo, lo lea. Yes, read it. The sacred to real succession is in and to eso no lo sé pronunciar en su en su cómo Enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. Okay. Thank you. All right. Don't worry. Okay. So the secret to real success is enthusiasm. All right. So it says, el secreto del éxito real es el entusiasmo. Okay. That is true. Okay, success means éxito. Success means éxito. Enthusiasm. Okay, so we are starting a new week and I hope you are happy. Okay, estamos comenzando una semana y espero que esté contento, que esté feliz. All right, so let's move and today's agenda. So we have the warm up. Then we are going to move to vocabulary. We have grammar, we have practice time, we have listening, we have reading. Tenemos muchísimos ejercicios el día de ahora. And we are going to start with the warm up, a stop the bus. Okay, so today we are going to play a stop the bus and we have three categories fruit, verb, and object in an office. Okay, so three. Okay, so a stop the bus for the ones that were not here on Friday is the same as bachillerato stop. A stop the bus is the same as bachillerato stop. I'm going to give you the letter and you need to find a word, a fruit, a verb, a, an object in an office that starts with that letter. Okay, a stop the bus es lo mismo que bachillerato stop. Yo le doy la letra y usted, obviamente, esto es en inglés. Usted encuentra una fruta, un verbo y un objeto en la oficina que empiece con la letra que yo le voy a decir para los que no estuvieron el viernes, ¿ok? So, you will have uh, some, I will say one minute. Va a tener un minuto, ¿ok? Para pensar. 
So here we go. The first letter, the first letter that we are going to play with is letter B. The first letter, letter B. B. Okay, so fruit, verb, and object in an office with the letter B. Okay. Cuando yo lo tenga, dice, stop the bus. Letter B. Fruit, verb, and object in an office. Mm -hmm. No, nobody. Okay, let's see. Yvette. Okay, tell us, Yvette. Um, fruit and banana. Okay. Bear brush. Brush. Yes. And object in office and book. Yes, very good. Okay, so Yvette, excellent. Okay, again. Okay, so Yvette, very good. So one point. Okay, one point. Let's see. Well, one star, Yvette. Okay, next. Okay, so the letter B now with the letter P. 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 Okay. Let's see. Fruit with the letter P, verb with the letter P, and object in an office with the letter P. Easy. It's easy. Franklin, yes. Um, pear. Okay, pear. Uh, yes. Um, um, uh, peace. It pass. Oh, oh. oh, okay. But peace is not a verb. No es un verbo. Ah, oh, perdón, perdón. Un verbo. Eh, verb. Um, uh, object, object in the office mm -hmm. is pencil. Yes, pencil. Okay. Pencil. And uh, the verb? The uh, verb is. Verb, verb. Mm -hmm. The verb. Se me puso blanca la. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Okay, don't worry. Uh, Franklin, when you buy something, cuando usted compra algo, when you buy something, el verbo que usamos para cuando damos el dinero, how do you say it? Es, es el, cuando uno entrega. Cuando uno paga. How do you say pagar? Efectivo, no. No, pagar. Eh, el verbo pagar. Creo que, de, no. Uh, Deposito. Pay. <laughs> el okay. PayPal. Ok. Yes, <laughs> this pay. Pay. <laughs> pay, ok. All right, but I'm going to take it as good, okay? So, Franklin, yes, okay? Okay, so next letter, next letter, okay? One more. 
Okay, so with the letter C. C. Letter C. Letter C. Okay. Letter C. One minute. Uh -huh. A fruit, a verb, and an object. A fruit, a uh, cherry. Okay, let me see. Okay, so fruit, cherry, okay, verb. Come. Yes. An object in an office? Computer. Perfect. Very good, Irma. Okay. Thank excellent. you. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. So, very good. Okay. One more. The last one. Okay. This is the last one. La última. Okay. So, this is so easy. Okay. With the letter K. Letter K. Okay, letter K. One minute. Okay, a fruit, a verb, and an object in an office. Okay, Tanya. Okay, Tanya. A fruit. A kiwi. Yes, kiwi. And verb. 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 Mm hmm. Uh, no. No, yes. An object in the office? Table. Table. Very good, Tanya. Yes. Okay. Just for today, all of you, okay, are winners, okay? Solamente este día todos van a ser ganadores, okay? Because we need to continue with the class, okay? But tomorrow, we are going to play again, tomorrow, okay? So right now, let's move to vocabulary. Let's move to vocabulary. So the first thing that we are going to study today are rooms in the house. Let's see, Marco, help us reading the different rooms in the house that we have. Marco? I don't know, yes. no. no. Oh, mm. read, read. Ah. Uh. Yes. Bedroom, la sister? Yes. <clears throat> uh, bedroom, grand, grandma? Bedroom, brother? Mm -hmm. Living room, baby? Dining room, mom, mom? Y kitchen, dad? Um, el garden, y hay algo más abajo, no me, grandpa. Grandpa. Okay, so repeat after me, everybody, and say dining room. Dining room. Yes. Dining Very good. room. So rooms in the house. Those are some of the rooms that we have in the house. For example, bedroom is where you sleep. 
Okay. Bathroom is where you take a shower. Living room is where you watch TV. The dining room is where you eat. Is where you eat breakfast, is where you eat lunch, and is where you eat uh, dinner. Okay. And the kitchen is where you prepare food. And the garden is where you play or is where you have flowers. Right. So let me ask you where is mom? According to the picture, where is mom? She Where is, is the mom? dining room? She is in the dining room. Excellent, Yvette. Number two, where is brother? He is in the bathroom. He is in the bathroom. Thank you. Where is dad? Where is that, Suleyma? He is, he is in the kitchen. Thank you. Where is sister, Marco? Uh, she is in the bedroom. Yes, thank you. Where is baby, Franklin? The baby. Where is Mm -hmm. Where is baby? Is he is in the Okay. The living no no. Yes. He deliver is. he is the living room. In the living room. In the living room. Very good. Thank you. Where is grandma Irma? in the bedroom. Yes, perfect. Where is Grandpa Erika? He is in the garden. He is in the garden. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. Now let's continue. Let's continue. And we have this question. How do you go to work? Repeat after me and say, how do you go to work? How do you go to work? Suleyma, repeat the question. How do you go to work? Okay, perfect. Thank you. Tanya, repeat the question. Uh, how do you go to work? Okay. How do you go to work? How do you go to work? Excellent. Uh, Erika, repeat the question. How do you go to work? Okay, repeat after me, Erika, and say go. How do you go to work? Okay, how do you go to work? Okay, so how do you go to work? How? How do you go to work? I go to work by car. I go to work by taxi. I go to work by bus. I go to work by bike. I go to work by motorcycle or I go to work on foot. So how do you go to work? How do you go to work? Suleyma, how do you go to work? I go to work in in car. Okay, how? How, Suleyma? Perdón. Yes, so you go to work 
by car. I think that she's having issues with the internet. Okay, so Tania, how do you go to work? Uh, I go to work uh, by bus. By bus. Marco, how do you go to work? By, by bike. By bike, okay. Jocelyn, how do you go to work? Oh, Jocelyn, we cannot hear you. Perdón, eh, by car. Okay, so now complete sentence. I go to work by car. Okay, how, how do you work, work by car? No, I go to work by car. I go to work by car. Perfect. Event, how do you go to work? I go to work by bus. Yes, perfect. Christian, how do you go to work? Uh, by car. Okay, complete sentence. I go to work by car. I go to I go to work by car. Yes. Uh, Erika, how does Christian go to work? Uh, he go by car. He goes by car. He Perfect. goes by car. Yes, excellent. Uh, let's see, Jose, how do you go to work? Oh, well, I think that, that, well, we cannot hear you, Jose. But okay, Reinaldo, how do you go to work? Well, I think that they are not there. Okay. Irma, how do you go to work? I go to work by bus. By bus. Tanya, how does Irma go to work? Uh, she go to work. She goes to work uh, by bus. Okay, thank you. Okay, Reynaldo, it's okay. All right, perfect. So now let me ask you, what are their jobs? What about he? He is a doctor. He is a doctor. Very good. What about number two? Police. Police woman. She is. Police woman. No? She okay. Is a police. A police officer. Okay. She is. Complete sentences. Oraciones completas. She is a police officer. Okay. Number three. What about? He's a waiter. Very good. He is a waiter. Yes, a waiter. What about number four? Uh, she is a sales woman. A sales woman. Okay, perfect. Yes. Okay, let's move. What about? Number five. She is a teacher. She is a teacher. Very good. Number six. He is an actor. He is an actor. Excellent. Number seven. She is an actress. Okay. She is a... Um, Actress. Um, okay. Um, yes. Perfect. Number eight. He is a secretary. Okay. He is a secretary. Okay. Would be. What about a writer? A writer. Un escritor. 
Okay, a writer. But yes, could be as well a secretary. What about number nine? What about Harry? Mm -hmm. So if this one was a waiter, he is a waiter. What she about a, she? She is a waitress. She is a waitress. Perfect. She is a waitress. Excellent. Okay. So waitress. Okay. Oops. Let me see. Okay. Waitress. Like this. Waitress. Okay. Waitress. All right. Very good. What about number 10? He's a. Uh, he's a uh, um, attorney. Okay. Maybe also could be he's a lawyer. But yes. Very good, Tanya. What about 11? She's a nurse. A nurse. She is a nurse in 12. Hello. Um, bartender. Yes. She is a bartender. She is a bartender. Very good. So you see? Easy, right? Was not difficult. Okay. So now. Do you remember about WH questions? Do you remember about WH questions? Yes? Or no? Okay, so now, let's see. When, when do we use why? Do we use why for a choice? Do we use why for a method or a manner? Do we use why for a person? Do we use why for a place? Why for a reason? Why for a thing or activity? Why for a time, day, or year? Or why for the owner? When do we use why? When? Mm -hmm. Why? When do we use why? Mm -hmm. Any idea? Mm -hmm. No? Okay, don't worry. So why is por qué? Do you remember about WH questions? ¿Se recuerda las WH? So, why is, por qué? So, why is useful for a reason? Why a reason? Cuando alguien le pregunta why, le está preguntando por qué. Entonces, usted da una razón. A reason. Now, what about when? What about when? When is cuando? Yes, uh huh. So, when? A time, day, or year. Excellent. A time, day, or year. Where? A plan? A plan or a place? A place? A place. Very good. Yes, a place. What about how? How? Mm -hmm. How? Mm 
Now, let's move to which. What about which? Mm -hmm. No? Okay, let's move to who. What about who? Mm -hmm. Who? Es como. Oh, who? Who? No. Who is not como. Okay. Yes. But then who for a choice, for a method or manner, a person or the owner? Let me see. Okay. Brian says a person. Yes. Who? Quien. A person. Uh. Correct. What about what? 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 A choice. A choice? Okay. So now, I'm going to explain something, and this is very important. So how, how is como, right? So how is asking you for a method or a manner? Okay, for example, how do you prepare a cup of coffee? ¿Cómo usted prepara una taza de café? So how le está preguntando por un método o una manera. So whenever you see how, cuando usted vea how, le está preguntando por un método o una manera. Porque es como. Yes? So now, what about which? Which is asking you for a choice. For example, which color do you like? Blue or red? A choice. What is the meaning of choice? Choice means elección. Choice, elección. So, which color do you like? Red or pink? Tanya, which color do you like? Red or pink? Red. Okay. You have made a choice. Ya hizo su elección, que es red. So, which elección? Okay. Now, what about whose? Whose is de quién? De quién? Whose? Therefore, we talk about the owner, el propietario, because whose is acerca de posesión. Whose, de quién. El propietario de algo. Whose, de quién. Okay. In what, or a thing, or activity. What do you do on weekends? What do you do on Sunday morning activities? Yes? Perfect. Do you have questions? Do you have questions? Questions so far? Doubts? No? Okay. Let's move. Okay. Let's move. All right. So then we have the following. Okay. Types of workplaces. Okay, let's see. What is this? What is this? A call center. Uh, A call center? Okay. A call center. And what is this? Number four. 
Okay. A call center. Number four. Aha, number four. Center, number one. Okay. An office. Okay. Okay, very good. So number four is a call center. And number one is it an open office, open office. or a closed office? Open, open office open. because you see open many office. people, many people. So it's an open office. Open office. Number two, a closed office. office. A closed office. Very good. Closed. Excellent. What about number three? A factory. A factory. A factory. What about number, well, number four, call center. Five? Uh, retail. Uh, retail ugly. outlet. A retail outlet. And number six? Uh, warehouse. Warehouse. Okay. Warehouse. Are, you, are you sure? Warehouse. Uh, no. Uh, no. Number five uh, is a uh, warehouse. Uh -huh. And six is a uh, retail audit. Yes, correct. So number five is a warehouse. A warehouse. And number six is a retail outlet. The warehouse. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. The warehouse, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. right? Where you have all of the products that you distribute, okay? The warehouse is bodega. The warehouse, okay? All right, so then let's move. Okay, so Irma, help us reading. Help us reading. Read what is in black. Read the black letters. And Tanya, the pink letters. Read. Where you, uh, la, esa palabra, si no. Where do you usually? Usually. 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 Excellent. Usually. Where do you? Usually? Usually. You, usually. Usually. Yes. Okay. Where do you usually? Fine. Fine. She's workplace. Fine. Things. Things. Yes, things. Uh -huh. At the work. Um, but the words they correct uh, categories categories some words can they belong belong to more than they own one what mm -hmm. uh, Okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Tani. We cannot hear you. Uh, Akash uh, register. Akash register. Register. Uh, deck, deck. Okay. A uh, uh, machine, a uh, monitor, a uh, printer. Okay, and this one? Printer. Oh, a price tag. Price tag. A uh, uh, printer. Yes. A uh, robot. Yes. A uh, tab. Table. Table. A, a table, a tray, a what water, 
cooler. Cooler? Cooler? Uh, zero matching? Yes. Uh, shelves. 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 Okay, very shelves. good. So now, where do you usually find these workplace things? A cash register? Where? Where can we find a cash register? In an office, in a cafeteria, in a factory, in a store? Where? In a store, mm -hmm. in, in, a store. In, a, in a cafeteria. Cafeteria. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. What about a robot? In a factory. In a factory, a desk. In an office. In an office. In office. A table. In the office. In a cafeteria. Cafeteria. Okay, cafeteria. A machine. Uh, in the factory. In the factory. Okay, a tray. Uh, what is a tray? What is a tray? Very good. A tray in the cafeteria. Cafeteria. Yes, cafeteria. A tray is a una um, bandeja. bandeja. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. In the cafeteria. Very good, Jocelyn. What about a monitor? In the off. In, in the office. office. Of the okay. office. Yeah. In, oh. in the store. In the store, in the yes. factory. In the factory, in the office, in, in the cafeteria. Yeah, in any place. Uh, <laughs> cafeteria, cafeteria. Cafeteria. Yes. What about a water cooler? Water cooler? Cooler. Do you know what is that? Um, no? In the factory. In the factory? Okay. What else? The water cooler? Um, on the cafeteria, in the cafeteria, in the office, in a factory, in, in a store, oh, okay. in a store, maybe no. no, right? What about a price tag? Price. A price tag? Do you know what is a price tag? The price tag. Es la etiqueta de precio. A price tag. In the store. In the store. Correct. In, In the, the store. store. Yes. And what about a Xerox machine? In the office. In the office. Uh -huh. In In the office. In a factory. In the factory. Yes. The... Correct. Okay. A printer. And in the office. In the office. Okay. And where else? In the office, in a factory, in the store as well. A printer. Yes. Yes. And shelves. In a store. Um in the, the store. store. In the store. In, in a factory. In a factory. In, in an office. office. Yes, of course. Very good. Okay. All right. Don't forget about vocabulary. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's match the verbs. Verbs. Okay. All right. So, let's see. Number one. Number one. Sign. What do we sign? What do we sign? What do we sign? Mm -hmm. When you sign get a job. Penal? Oh, no. Sign is firmar. What do you sign? Contract. A contract. A contract. Or contracts. A contract. Very good. What do you drink? Drink coffee. coffee. Okay, you drink coffee. And what do you operate? Operate a machine. 
What do you operate? A machine. A machine. Okay. What do you receive? Phone calls. You receive phone calls. And what do you attend? A uh, conference. You attend a conference, okay? And what do you fix? Problems. You fix problems, okay? And what do you take? Um, a break. A break. A break. Okay, and what do you serve? Custom. Customers. Okay. Customers. Very good. Customers. Yes, customer. Repeat after me. Sign contracts. Sign contracts. Drink coffee. Drink coffee. Operate a machine. Receive phone calls. Take a break. Attend a conference, fix problems, and serve customers. Okay, very good. Do you have questions before continuing? Doubts, questions? No? Okay, perfect. All right, let's move. Okay, so now before continuing, I'm going to take attendance. Okay. Attendance, give me one second, attendance. And open this class because we are almost going to uh, speaking. Open the class, go to the spreadsheet and open the class because then we are going to go to speaking. So open the class, open the class, okay? Open the class, please. Okay, go and open the class because we are going to go on speaking, right? So right now I'm going to take attendance. Give me one second. And okay, so here we go. Brian Antonio Castro Molina. Present. Thank you. Christian Marcelo Ramirez Moran. Present. Thank you. Elmer Alexander Cotosorto. Okay. Eric Alexander Escalante Barrias. Eric Alexander? No. Okay. Erika Beatriz Reyes Méndez. Present. Thank you. Franklin, Franklin Emanuel Flores Portillo. Present. Thank you. Gerson Josué Abarca Aranda. Gerson. Irma del Tránsito Alegría Martínez. Present. Thank you. Irving Francisco Peraza Herrera. Okay. Yvette Elvira Aquino Peña. Present. Thank you. Johnny Iván Argueta Argueta. Johnny. Okay. José Enrique Siliesar Alas. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Guadalupe Romero Évora. Present. Thank you. Kelvin Omar Martinez Ramirez. Kelvin. Okay. Liliana Beatriz Jiménez Colorado. Liliana. Okay. Ernesto, Luis Ernesto Nuila Castro. Luis Ernesto. Mila Castro. Marco Rubén García Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Reinaldo Alberto Vázquez Torres. Reinaldo. Ok. Tania Vanessa Moreno. En el chat, teacher. Ok, thank you. Eh, Tania Present. Vanessa Moreno. Na. Thank you. Ok. Zuleima Guadalupe Chicas Aguilar. Present. Okay, thank you. All right. So then let's continue. 
let's continue with the class, okay? Okay, so before moving on, let's see. Uh, Marco, help us reading the first sentence till journalist. Okay, read. Read, Marco. My name is Alan. Yes. I'm, fr I'm from the United States, mm -hmm. but I live in Tokyo. I'm a journal journalist. Yes, I am a journalist. I am a journalist. Yes. I... I, um, I study... Okay, we are going to choose from those. Uh, um, I... Sorry, I... Finish no, work. I work. I work mm -hmm. for an English language. Okay. Maga magazine. Magazine. Uh -huh. And. And I. And I. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Get to work. Um. Okay. So no. if it says, if it says that. He is a journalist. He uh, works for an English language magazine. And he, uh, this one. And why? Right. 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 Yes. Right. Right. Oh, right. About yeah. life in Japan. Okay. Now I. Are you finish? Finish? No. Finish? Early? Okay. I finish early. I finish sure? early at seven o'clock. Okay. Get, I... go, get home. I know they stay home. Uh -huh. um. Okay. So. It says, thank you, Marco. My okay. name is Alan. I'm from the United States, but I live in Tokyo. I'm a journalist. I work for an English language magazine and I write about life in Japan. I, I what? Who can help us? I finish or? I get up. I get up, exactly. I get up early. Me levanto temprano. I get up early, okay? So get up, okay? I get up early, very good. At seven o'clock, huh? At seven o'clock, what does he do? ¿Qué hace? Have, have breakfast. Okay. Breakfast. Have breakfast. Okay, very good. So have breakfast. Uh -huh. And then, and what else? And leave. Leave. Okay, leave home at. ¿Cómo se dice 7:45? How do you say city quarantine? Tanya, how do you say city quarantine? Uh, seven and forty-five. Okay, seven forty-five. Seven forty-five. Mm -hmm. Then I. Okay. And leave home at 7.45. I go to work. I go to work. By car. Work. Excellent. I go to work by, by car. Car. Uh -huh. I. Mm -hmm. I work. Okay. 
I work or oh. I get to work? I get to work. What is the I meaning of get to work? What is the meaning? ¿Qué significa get to work? Llegar al trabajo. Llegar al trabajo. I get to work. I get to work an hour later. Yo llego al trabajo. I get to work. Okay. My home is very far from my office. I... Get home. Okay. I get home. I finish. I finish. I finish. I finish work at five o'clock. And I get home. And get home every day at the day o'clock. Mm -hmm. I go to bed. Late. So early is temprano. Early. Early. Like this. Temprano. Which is the antonym. ¿Cuál es el antonimo de early? Late. Late. Okay. All right. Do you have questions? Now? Okay, let's move. I'm going to play a recording. Voy a ponerles un listening y quiero que obtenga toda su información. Okay? So, Paula is an American woman who works in Tokyo. Listen to her interview with Alan and complete the table. So, I need to take all of this information. I, I need to take at what time Paula get up what time uh, Paula eh, leaves home. Todo esto, all right? All of this. Ella va a decir toda la información. Quiero que usted la tome en su cuaderno, all right? So here we go, ready? Okay, perfect. So let me play the, the listening. So, tell me about your typical day. What time do you get up? I get up early, at 7 o'clock. What time do you leave home? After I take a shower and have breakfast, I leave home at 8 o'clock. How do you go to work? I go by train. My office is very far from my home. What time do you get to work? I get to work 90 minutes later, at 9.30. Do you enjoy your work? Yes, I do. I meet a lot of interesting people. What time do you finish? I finish work at 7 o'clock. It's a long day. And what time do you get home? I get home at 8.30. What time do you go to bed? I don't go to bed late. I go to bed at 10 p.m. Okay. Ready? Or do you need me to play one more time? Okay, one more time. The last time. So, tell me about your typical day. What time do you get up? I get up early, at 7 o'clock. What time do you leave home? After I take a shower and have breakfast, I leave home at 8 o'clock. How do you go to work? I go by train. My office is very far from my home. What time do you get to work? I get to work 90 minutes later, at 9.30. Do you enjoy your work? Yes, I do. I meet a lot of interesting people. What time do you finish? I finish work at 7 o'clock. It's a long day. And what time do you get home? I get home at 8.30. What time do you go to bed? I don't go to bed late. I go to bed at 10 p.m. Okay. So, what time does she get up? Take 7 a.m. 7 a.m. What time does she leave home? Eight a.m. Thank you. And how does she go to work? How? In train. 
by train. And um, what time does she get to work? By train. 9.30, very good. And what time does she finish work? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock, 7 p.m. And what time does she get home? 8.30 p.m. 8.30 p.m. And what time does she go to bed? 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Perfect, very good. Okay, so now let's continue. And now I need you, I need you to take um, the notes about the questions, okay? The questions. So tell me about your typical day. What time? ¿Cuál es la pregunta que va aquí? Para que nos puedan responder esto. What time? Get up. What time do you? Do you? Don't forget about the auxiliary. What time do you get up? Okay. What time? Do you home? Do you, do you leave? Me home. Perfect. And how? Do you go to work? How do you go to work? Excellent. And then what time? Do you do work? Get, get to work. work. Get to work. Get to work. Excellent. And then? This one? Um. No, you don't remember. Met... 10 p.m. Okay. No. Yeah. Which is the question? What do you do in your work? Okay. What do you do in your work? Okay. What do you do at work? Okay. What? what? Let's leave it like that. Ya vamos a ver si esa era o no. Then what time? Excellent. What time? I get home. Do you? Okay. Do, you, do you get? Do you get home? Excellent. And the last one. What time? Do you go to bed? Do you go to bed? Excellent, okay. Here we have the same dialogue, the same conversation. So the question was, do you enjoy your work? Disfrutas trabajo. Do you enjoy your work? Let me ask you this question, okay? So Brian, do you enjoy your work? Sometimes. <laughs> okay, sometimes. Jocelyn, do you enjoy your work? Do you enjoy your work, Jocelyn? I get oh oh no. Do um, you do you enjoy your work? Yes, I do or no, I yes, don't. I do. Yes, yes, I, I do. do. Okay, Irma. Do you enjoy your work? Uh, yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do, okay. And you, Marco, do you enjoy your work? Yes, I do. Okay, Jose, do you enjoy your work? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, and you, Johnny, do you enjoy your work? Yes, I do. <laughs> Johnny, okay. And you, Tanya, do you enjoy your work? 
Yes, I do. Okay, all right. So let's continue, okay? So now I need you to do the following, okay? I need you to do the following. So we are going to start with a speaking. So first, I need you to practice this conversation. One is Alan and the other one is Paula, okay? After this one, you move to this one. With your teammate, with your partner, you are going to elaborate on the steps to prepare the perfect cup of coffee. And you are going to come to the main session to talk about this. Todos van a pasar. Con su compañero va a elaborar los pasos. ¿Cómo usted hace the perfect cup of coffee? ¿Ok? ¿Cómo usted hace un café perfecto? ¿Una taza de café? Quiero saber cómo hace una taza de café. ¿Ok? All of the steps, todos los pasos. ¿Y qué quiero que me utilice? First, second, third. Connectors of sequence. ¿Se recuerda que los vimos? Ahí están, aquí les he puesto. Go to class six. En esa clase va a encontrar lo que tiene que utilizar Y tiene que investigar, obviamente. Right? Once you finish this, cuando ya termine esto, ok, cuando termine esto, nos vamos a pasar a esto. Ask your partner. Y le va a preguntar a su compañero. How often do you sign contracts? Sometimes, never. Hardly ever, always, adverse of frequency. Adverbios de frecuencia, lo que hemos visto. How often do you drink coffee? Esas oraciones y esas preguntas deben de estar bien elaboradas. How often do you drink coffee? Aquí tiene lo que usted va a preguntar. How often do you operate? A machine. Never. Okay. How often do you receive phone calls? Etc. Y continúa. Do you have questions? Tiene preguntas. Do you have questions? Questions? Is it clear? Is it clear? Yes or no? Okay, yes, perfect, okay. So then let's start. Remember, first practice this, then move to this, and then this one, okay? Very good. So let me create uh, the rooms. I'm going to create the rooms so you can participate and practice. Um, Okay, here we go. Okay. Hi, Jocelyn. Oh, okay. So give me one second. Okay, Jocelyn, you will go with, let me see. 
room six. Okay. Yes. Let me see Yvette and Suleyma, Erica and Tanya, Liliana. Christian, are you there? Okay. Arika. Ah, ya. Yeah. Espérame, entonces este Hola. So tell me about your typical day. What time do you get up? I get up early at seven o'clock. What time do you leave home? After I take a shower and have breakfast, I leave home at eight o'clock. How do you go to work? I go by train. My office is very far from my home. What time do you get to work? I get, get to work 90. ¿Cómo se dice 90? 90. 90. Oh, okay. 90. 90 minutes later at 9.30. Do you enjoy your work? Yes, I do. Enjoy. I enjoy. Okay. Yes, I do. I meet a lot of interesting people. Okay. What time do you finish? I finish work at seven o'clock. It's a long day. And what time do you get home? Mm -hmm. I get home at eight. What time do you go to bed? I don't go to bed late. I go to bed at 10 p.m. Okay. Una vez más. Yo okay. hablan ahora. Okay. okay. So, tell me about your typical day. What time do you get up? I get up early at 7 o'clock. What time do you leave home? After I die a shower and then head breakfast. I leave home at eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. How do you go to work? I go by train. My office is very far from my home. What time do you get, get to work? I get to work 90 minutes late at 9.30. Do you English? English? Your work? Yes, I do. I meet a lot of interesting people. What time do you finish? I finish work at seven o'clock. It's a long day. Hello. Teacher. Teacher, puede ayudarme. Regáleme el link para lo de la clase que no me abre los links anteriores. Mm. Siempre me, lo, me, me los corta. Ok. Déjame un segundo. Ok, so Franklin, this is the, the whole spreadsheet. Okay, that is a spreadsheet. So you can find the classes right there, but I'm going to share with you the, the link for this class, but you can find all of the classes right there. So the link for today's class is going to be this one. So open the second one and bookmark it, okay? Añada los favoritos el primero, porque el primero es donde va a encontrar todo. So- no, Okay, ya está, ya, ya, ya lo yeah. encontré. Es que el link anterior, el que dejó, no sé por qué, pero como que caducó o algo así, no me lo abre, me manda una página cerrada, pero este ya está, ya me, ya me lo abrió. Okay. And remember that it's going to be under module two. Well, no, module one, October um, 
October classes. Ahí va a estar toda la información. Okay, thank you. Yes. Sí. Ok, sería eh, listen, guide, and the complete the interview. Yes. Do you need help? Permuda. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esta palabra? the may about your tropical date what day do you get up get up what time uh, what time do you get up yeah mm -hmm. i get up early at uh, seven o'clock mm -hmm. what time what time yeah. do you leave home okay after I take shower and have breakfast, I leave home at nine o'clock. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. How do you go to work? I go by bus. My office very far from my home. Mm -hmm. What time do you get to work? I get to work um ninety ninety minutes minutes yes lady at ninety at nine uh, uh, lady night night thirty thirty yes thirty. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Do you enjoy your work? Yes, I do. I meet a lot for interesting people. Yes. What time do you finish? I finish work at five o'clock. It's a long day. It's a long day. It's a long day. Excellent. And what time do you get home? Mm -hmm. I get home six p.m. at 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 six p.m. at six p.m. six p.m. Mm -hmm. What time do you go to bed? I don't go to bed. Lady, I go to bed at a eight p.m. at eight p.m. Okay. okay. Repeat after okay. me and say late. 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 Okay. Very good. Keep practicing. Okay. Yeah. Practice. Practice. Okay. Okay. No. Ah, pues no la encuentro. Do you have questions? Yes. Yes, tell me. I'm sorry, Jose, I cannot hear you. Vamos a llenar el cuadro que está en la clase del día de ahora. 
uh, your par partner. Yes, correct. So you are going to fill this according to what Marco, Marco is going to tell you. For example, let me let me share my, my screen. Um, okay. So for example, on this one, okay. So you are going to ask Marco, hey Marco, how often do you sign contracts? How often do you? How often do you um, sign contracts? Sign every day. Every day, okay. So every day. You Jose, write down Marco signs contracts every day. Oh, on, on your notebook. Okay. Yes. All right. Remember that you need to complete this one as well. Okay. okay, so do you have any other question? You is your partner. No, oh, this is about you. Eso es acerca de usted, Jose. For example, okay. yourself, usted mismo. This is you, and this is about Marco. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Like pero, pero, ¿en dónde encontramos ese cuadro, teacher? No lo encuentro. Ah, en la in clase the de class. Ahora. En la clase de ahora. Uh, la clase de ahora, today's class, Marco, la va a encontrar module one, October agenda. La pestaña número dos que está a la par de la de septiembre. En el chat también le mandé la clase. Ajá. Y es aquí. Pero si no la encuentra, le puedo mandar el link aquí para que la encuentre más rápido. Por favor, ya no revisando todo aquí. Ok, ahí en el chat. Thing. Okay. Entonces, ahí la va a encontrar en la clase. Ahí está esto. Hasta va. Ready. Okay, perfect. Yes. Okay, let me see. Let me go. Okay, any other question before I go? No, right now? Okay, perfect. Let me see the other team. Okay, guys, do you need help? No, solo eran tres pasos, ¿verdad? O se pueden agregar más pasos para el café. Ah, no, the ones that you consider that are important. Como usted crea que se hace una taza perfecta de café. Okay. Okay. And then this one, okay? So this one is about you. Uh, let me explain this. So this is the chart. Right, this is the chart. So this is about you. You are going to write down on your notebook. En su cuaderno o en su notepad, donde se está anotando, va a escribir eso. So this is about you. For example, I sign contracts every day. Or I never sign contracts. Pero lo va a escribir. Y después, Johnny, usted le pregunta a Eric, how often do you sign contracts? And Eric, let me ask you, how often do you sign contracts, Eric? How okay. often? How often? Uh -huh. Si yo le pregunto, Eric, how often do you sign contracts? ¿Qué me va a responder? Uh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Ok. ¿Se recuerda los adverbios de frecuencia? Más o menos. Ok. Entonces, eso es lo que usted tiene que utilizar aquí. Si se va a la clase del viernes, ahí va a encontrar los adverbios de frecuencia. So, for example, always, never, sometimes, usually, Hardly ever, etc. Entonces la okay. respuesta sería yes. Yes, always, por decir un ejemplo. Ah, ok. So, la respuesta sería I always sign contracts. I always sign contracts. Sí, si usted siempre firma contratos, entonces I always sign contracts. Okay. Okay. Now, 
another, Eric. How often do you drink coffee? Yeah. I. I. A veces, ¿cómo sería? Sometimes. I sometimes drink coffee. Ajá, uh -huh, correct. Like that. Y así va en la tercera. How okay. often do you operate a machine? How uh, often? Uh -huh. I, I always operate, operate a machine. Exactly. Like that. Excellent. Like that. And then, Eric, usted le pregunta a John, lo mismo que yo estoy haciendo con usted, how often do you sign contracts? Y yo ni le va a Cuando nos referimos a machine, nos referimos a X, máquina o alguna yes. máquina específica. No, general. Okay. 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 Very good. Johnny, don't forget. Johnny, are you there? Okay, thank you, Johnny. Yeah, aquí soy. Okay, Johnny. <laughs> Okay, don't forget that today we have the feedback, okay? With Pero, you. No, no la escucho. No? Today we have the feedback. Ahora tenemos el feedback con usted. Today? Yes. No, yes. other day. <laughs> Why, Johnny? <laughs> Because I'm tired. Johnny, come on. Just okay, not in. a problem. Okay, all right. So keep practicing, okay? Keep practicing, keep practicing. If you have questions, ask, okay? Si tienen preguntas, me dicen, okay? Continue. Okay. All right. Do you need help? Um, no? Estábamos haciendo la de Ask Your Partner. Ah, ok, perfect. I wanna hear. Quiero escuchar. <laughs> Go. Ya le, ya le pregunté la primera. Ok. Continue. Eh, la primera sería. Gior. Mm -hmm. Okay, Tania, ask again. Ask the same question to Erica. Again, the question. La primera de eso sería, ¿verdad? Which one? Uh, how often dry coffee? Oh, okay. How often do you? How often do you? Do you do you dry coffee? Do you drink? Drink coffee. How often do you drink coffee, Erica? Uh, every day. Okay, every day. Now say, Erica, say, I drink coffee every day. I drink coffee every day. Perfect. Uh, how often uh, do you operate a machine? Operate. Operate. Um, I, I don't operate a machine. Okay, I, I don't, don't never. I never operate. I never operate a machine. Correct. Very good. Mm -hmm. uh, how of, often uh, receive a uh, phone call? Uh, I receive phone calls every day. Perfect. Uh, how often do you take a break 
a break? Uh, I take a break every day. <laughs> okay. Uh, how often do you attend a conference? Mm -hmm. uh, pero, yo, pero yo creo que si te, o sea, si te lo mando por el chat, solo lo veo por yo. Sí, ese era el punto para ver si estaba, si era similar como estaba escrito. Por lo menos ahí te lo acabo de enviar por el ah. chat pero directamente a ti para que lo viéramos a ver si estaba, o sea, igual. Ah, ya lo vi directamente. Te voy a pasar yo ahorita como lo tengo, porque ya, ya me sale configurado. Ahí está el mensaje directo. Ok. ¿Do you need help? Eh, mm. Solo la, una pregunta. Eh, en lo del café, yes. podíamos solo poner el first, we, second. No. Eh, Franklin. Tendríamos que, teníamos que poner la, las conexiones y aparte de las conexiones, eh, agregar, digamos, como componente. Mm, ok, so yes, I mean, what I need to do, lo que yo quiero que haga es que describa cómo prepara su taza de café. La taza perfecta de café. So, primero, ¿qué se hace? Un poquito, mamá, quiero café. <laughs> okay. And this is all. This is all. Okay. Come on, Brian. This is all. This is true. Brian, come on. Okay, so. I would say that hypothetically, okay, hipotéticamente que usted la preparara. <laughs> okay, Brian. So, okay. Yes. Okay. At least three steps. Al menos tres pasos que se deben de seguir. Mm -hmm. We we have five five steps. Okay. Right now. Perfect. All right. Yeah. Okay. So two minutes and then we go back to the main room. Okay. Just finish what you need to finish and in two minutes we go back. All right. All right. Bye. All right. Thank you. Customer? He very said, I serve a customer every day. I serve. I serve, ¿verdad? Sure. Teacher, teníamos la duda ahí en esta, en la primera. Yes. Vaya, que dice que sí firmamos contrato, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, en el caso que, es, digamos, en el mío sería, I, digamos que sí firma, sí firmé, digamos. Yes. Yes, I do sin contract. No. Uh, okay, so how often do you sign contracts? ¿Cómo? How often do you sign contracts? Ah, uh, how? Esa sería mi respuesta. No. That no is la pregunta. Uh -huh. Ajá, mi pregunta sería, how often do you sign contracts? Mm -hmm. Y para contestarme aquí en el cuadrito, decir que yo sí firmé. Oh, yes, no. I do. No, pero la pregunta no es firma contrato, no. No le dicen, do you sign contracts? No le están preguntando, do you? Le están preguntando con how. How often do you sign contracts? ¿Y qué significa how often? ¿Qué tan frecuente? ¿Qué tan frecuente firma contratos? Ah, ok. So, ¿qué vamos a utilizar? Adverbios de frecuencia. Adverbs of frequency. I never. Ok, so, I never sign contracts. Ok. Va en el caso mío, en el caso de ella, sí. Is never sign contract. Never, no, she never. She never signs. Con ese es el verbo porque es tercera persona porque es ella. 
le agrega la S. Ajá. She never contracts. Contract. Contract. Ah, y así la tema apertura. Correct. Dependiendo si es. She. Uh -huh. She. Ah, ok. Siempre ver en, eh, con S porque es la tercera persona ella. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Hoy sí, ya. Okay, ya, Azul. Sí, sí. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Do you need help? No? Yes? Yes. <laughs> okay. Tell me. Uh -huh. How can I help you? Estamos en, en, en la tercera parte. Bueno. Okay. Ah, en el café, perdón. Oh, okay. The coffee, okay. Okay. The coffee. coffee. Okay. Eh, solo, teacher, eh, digamos, colocar, ¿cómo sería? Mm, pero colocar dependiendo de qué va a colocar. En Por ejemplo, caso. primero yo quiero, quiero decir, primero coloco el agua, un ejemplo. Ah, ok, perfecto. ¿Cómo podríamos decir que usted sí. coloca el agua? ¿A dónde coloca el agua? Uh -huh. ¿Dónde coloca el agua usted? ¿Quiere decir que usted... Eh, coloca el agua o añade el agua en la cacerola o oye bueno cacerola cafetera muy bien entonces si usted va a añadir el agua a la cafetera hay añadir o sea ¿Verdad? Le agrega. ¿Sí? I add water. Verbo, aquí se lo mando. Add. I add water. Agua. Add. Ajá, water. 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 In the coffee maker. In the, in the coffee In the coffee well, my, my car, my car. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bien, very good. What else? ¿Qué más hace? What else? Okay. Mm -hmm. Como cafetera. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't worry, continue. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Ah, pues sí, sí, ¿verdad? In the coffee. Mm -hmm. Second in the... Um, ¿Cómo se dice taza, Tuch? Cup. C U P. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yo creo que sí, eh, Jocelyn, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. Este, estamos con las tres partes, ¿verdad? Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Vamos a lo, a lo último, sería, ¿verdad? Solo una oh. duda, teacher. Yes. Um, digamos, si quiero poner, eh, colocar en la taza, sería um, así como lo, lo que hicimos en esta primera parte, de colocar el agua. Ok. ¿Qué va a colocar en la taza? Eh, sería el café. 
Okay, so I uh, and I am okay. And I the add coffee coffee to the, the, to uh, the um to the cup. The cup. Mm -hmm. the cup. Okay. And then you add sugar. You add sugar. Sí. Um, ah, sería el, como el tercero, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. Eh, ¿Verdad que primero es first? First. Segundo es second. Yes. Y tercero. ¿Cómo se llama? Third. Yeah. Third. Third. Fair. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you, Tisha. Okay. Continue. Ya que con la segunda estamos bien. Sí. Um, I can't what Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, ahí está el Ok. Entonces hoy vamos con la tercera parte, ¿verdad? Correcto. Sería. ¿Cómo obtén tu using contract? Contract. How often do you sign contracts? Sign contracts. Hmm? How often? How often? Esta sería como una pregunta para todo. Yes. For example, Irma, how often do you sign contracts? How often, Irma? Uh, often, not sure, no sé. ¿Qué significa often? Okay. So, do you remember about our class? Um, the class that we have on uh, that we had on on Friday. ¿Se recuerda la clase que tuvimos el viernes? No estuve teacher por el inventario. Ah, yes. Ah, no vio la clase, Irma. Sí, no, tuve que ir sábado todavía. Oh, ok. Ok, so we started, vimos los adverbios de frecuencia. Adverse of frequency. So, los adverbios de frecuencia son, por ejemplo, always, siempre, usually, usualmente, never, nunca. Nunca. Often, a menudo. So, how often do you sign contracts? Every day, correct? How often do you sign contracts? Que tan a menudo usted firma contratos. Ah, hey. Ahorita estoy aquí y en la clase del viernes es 30, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, voy a abrirlo. Sí. Ok. Mm -hmm. Adverbs of frequency. Sí, ya las encontré. Ok. Ok. Always. I always, always sign. Ah, ok, you are reading it. Ok, lo está leyendo, está leyendo lo que está viendo. Sí, está leyendo los, los. Ah, ok. okay. Ajá, para, para más o menos familiarizarme y ahí. Vale, ok, continue. Ok, trate de ver la clase para que eh, vaya como al mismo ritmo, ok. Para que no se le olvide. Yes? Sí, thank you. Ok, perfect. 
All right, let me call you back. Ya le voy a llamar a la sesión principal, ¿ok? Give me okay, one second. Thank you. Okay. Y ese, twice a day. Twice a day. Twice. Twice a day. Never. Dos veces al día. Dos veces al día. Twice a day. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you finish? Ready? No. Nope. Yes, of course, teacher. No. We are ready. No. No, no. <laughs> no, Johnny, okay. How do you say me faltan tres? <laughs> okay. I am still missing three. Still missing. I am still missing three. I'm still missing three. I'm still missing. Yeah. Que es... How do you still? Still, aún. Aún. Still, aún. Okay. Okay. I am still three. I, I am still missing three. Missing three. Missing I, three. I am still missing three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y how do you say, ya casi? Almost. Almost. Almost done. Ya casi termino. Almost uh -huh. done. Almost done. Yes, almost done. Okay. Okay. I can see if he wants to talk every day. Ah, la fixed problem. At attend no la attend conference. Attend conference. Ah, mm -hmm. attendance attend a conference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three times for week. Three four <laughs> times for week. Oh my god! Every day. No me acuerdo ahorita de eso. How do you say? You, I don't remember. Do you not remember me? <laughs> Please don't remember. Okay. All right. <laughs> or you can say, "Please don't talk about that, teacher." <laughs> okay. Please don't talk about that. I don't want to remember. Uh -huh. Do you, you don't touch? That topic. The, the topic. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, Johnny. <laughs> okay. La respuesta serían de él, serían he, he is brother. No. He, uh, for example, uh, how often does he sign contracts? How often? Ah, uh, nah. Never? Rara, na, rara veces es always, right? Eh? No. No. Rarely. Or hardly ever. Hardly ever. Mm -hmm. So, rara veces, eh? yes. Eh, prácticamente casi nunca, hardly ever. Casi nunca. Uh -huh. Por no decir nunca. Okay, Eric, sería Johnny hardly ever signs contracts. Y le agrega la S al verbo porque es tercera persona. Uh -huh. Okay. So I'm going to call the other ones or, um, right now. Okay. Voy a llamar a todos ya de nuevo. Because it's 9.50. Ya son las 9.50. Right? So. Qué yes. rápido. Bueno. Yes. Que me conecté tarde. Lo siento. Oh, don't worry, Johnny. Okay. Pero la verdad Voy que es súper rápido. Clase. He ido la... la Okay, so, all right, perfect. Okay, so let's see. I'm I'm going to wait for the other ones to get to this to the main session. 
But in the meantime, I'm going to ask you some questions. Guys, do you work out? Do you work out? Yes or no? Do you work out? No, I don't. No, I okay. don't. No, I don't. Okay. Okay. Nobody? Nobody? Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Then what about, do you have a pet? Yes. Okay. Yes. And can you tell me what is it called? Beer. Beer? Okay. Like also. Oh, okay. Also, but what but what is it called? What is it called? I mean the name. Also? Yes, this is the ah. this is her name. Okay, got it. Okay. Also. also, also. What about the other ones? Do you have a pet? Do you have a pet? Oh yes, Johnny, yes. He has yes. a pet. You see? <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, Johnny. Okay, very good. And what is it name? What is it called? Negro. His name, Rocco. Rocco, okay, Negro, all right. Okay, very good. Are you a doctor? Are you a doctor, guys? No, Only I in my dreams. <laughs> my no, I don't. No, no, I am not. No, I am okay. not. No, I am I not. Am. Uh -huh. Verb to be. Are you a doctor? No, I am not. No. I am a teacher. Okay. Are you a doctor? No, I'm not. Uh -huh. Verb to be. Okay. Attendance. Okay. Assistance, attendance, attendance. Um, okay. Let me see. Okay. Once again, here we go. Brian Antonio Castro Molina. Presenting. Thank you. Christian Marcelo Ramirez Morán. Christian? Okay. Elmer Alexander Coto Sorto. Eric Alexander Escalante Barrias. Present. Thank you. Erika Beatriz Reyes Méndez. Present. Thank you. Franklin Emanuel Flores Portillo. Present. Thank you. Gerson Josué Abarca Aranda. Irma del Tránsito Alegría Martínez. Present. Irving Francisco Peraza Herrera. Yvette Elvira Aquino Peña. Present. Johnny Iván Argueta Argueta. Present. Thank you. José Enrique Siliesar Alas. José Enrique. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Guadalupe Romero Évora. Present. Thank you. Liliana Beatriz Jiménez Present. Colorado. Liliana. No. Luis Ernesto Nuila Castro. Marco Rubén García Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Reinaldo Alberto Vázquez Torres. that he doesn't have a microphone. Tania Vanessa Moreno Naps. Present. Thank you. And Suleima Guadalupe Chicas Aguilar. Present. Yes, thank you. Okay, guys. So, let's see. Do I have some volunteer to start with the steps that you take to make a cup of coffee? Do I have a volunteer? Volunteer, a volunteer, oh my God, no volunteers. So we have a victim. We are going to have a victim. Okay, so let's see. Okay, Jocelyn, thank you, Jocelyn. Okay, Jocelyn, tell us, Jocelyn, how okay. do you make the perfect cup of coffee? I hand water in the coffee mm, mat, mat. Maker. Coffee maker. 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 Okay. Perdón. Um, 
uh, and second, second, I and coffee even the cup. Okay. I tend in the in the sugar. And then I add sugar. I add sugar. Okay. Okay. That's it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Jose, what about you, Jose? How do you make the perfect cup of coffee? Oh, we cannot hear you, Jose. Mm. Hello? Tengo problemas con el micrófono. Yes, you have issues. Okay. Um, okay, so let's see. Franklin. Franklin, tell us, how do you make the perfect cup of coffee? Mm-hmm. Frankly? Okay, I see. <laughs> uh, perfect coffee sería eh, mm -hmm. Yes, how do you first, mean? First, okay. first, first and tour and they shake Second, bring the water to a bowl. Mm -hmm. First, and put a tablespoon of coffee in the cup for mm -hmm. the two things. Things block thing. No, 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 no. Of sugar, mm -hmm. first, and the hot water to the cup and scramble will. Uh, okay, don't worry. Okay, thank you. All right, so for tomorrow, everybody should read what you have written, and I'm going to ask you tomorrow about this. Okay, tomorrow I'm going to ask you about this question. Okay, everybody. But now, before we go, what do you usually do in the morning, Marco? Please, please. Yes. What do you usually do in the morning? Mm. Um. No? No, no, no. Okay. Erica, what do you usually do in the morning? I usually... Take a shower. Okay. Um the brush my teeth. Okay. Um, I make a coffee. I I make a cup of coffee. Um, I go to work. Excellent. Thank you, Erica. Suleima, what do you usually do in the morning? No me agarraba el audio. Okay, don't worry. I usually um, brush my teeth. Mm -hmm. um, have a br uh, breakfast. Yes. Um, I usually um, 
Good. Okay, you usually cook. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Suleyma. Okay, guys. So we are going to stop right here. Okay, vamos a dejar la clase hasta acá. El día de mañana vamos a continuar con estas preguntas. Prepárese y estudie. Okay, vamos bien. Vamos muy bien y excelente. Pero debe de practicar un poquito, aunque sea unos 10 minutos antes de la clase. Lea y esté preparado. Porque mañana voy a preguntarles esas mismas preguntas que ya son de su rutina. Ok, about your routine. Presente simple, lo que estamos viendo. Ok. So, then, I'll see you back tomorrow. Thank you for being responsible. Ok, gracias por ser responsables y conectarse. And I'll see you back tomorrow. Lo veo el día de mañana. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. 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 Good night, Michael. Okay. Yes. Okay, so hi Johnny, how are you? How do you feel? How do you well, feel? Yes. Uh, how do you say? What is the meaning? What is the meaning? How do you feel? Mm -hmm. How do you feel means como se siente? How do you feel? Uh, I'm hungry. <laughs> You're hungry? I'm sorry, hungry. Johnny. I, uh, I take a... No, how do you say abrazo? Abrazo? I need a hug. Necesito un abrazo. Uh, oh, no. Uh, no, I need it. Hug the my almohada. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so your pillow. Yeah. Okay, you need pillow. a hug uh -huh. with your pillow. Okay, so let's see. All right, so we are almost done with the feedback. Okay, uh, I'm going to ask you just a couple of questions. Solamente unas preguntas del feedback y también para escucharlo. Um, okay, Johnny, how do you feel with the classes? ¿Cómo se siente con las clases? ¿Cómo se siente con la dinámica de la clase? ¿Cómo se siente con las clases en general? ¿Cómo se siente con las tareas de la plataforma? ¿Las ha podido completar? ¿No las ha podido completar? ¿Ha tenido problemas? Quiero que me comente. ¿En inglés o en español? Well, Spanglish. Lo que me puede decir en inglés, <risa> trate, trate. Sí, no, fíjese que en sí las clases, mejor en español para expresarme mejor, okay. las clases están, son, son muy buenas eh, y la metodología es, es realmente aplicable, ¿verdad? Eh, ya es que yo he ido a, a clases presenciales, estuviendo antes de la pandemia, ¿eh? okay. Hace ya casi dos, tres años. Uh -huh. eh, y por eso no seguí, pero siento que me, eh, con sus clases he, he mejorado varias cosas, me recuerdo, me recuerdo de algunas otras, pero, uh -huh. pero sí, sí es, esa metodología es, es muy buena. Sí, lástima que quizás por el tiempo que, que el trabajo que tenemos, los que estamos de la empresa ahí, sí. ya vio usted que a veces nos queda más tarde. Sí. Eh, y no nos podemos conectar uh -huh. pero sí yo trato de la manera posible de que bueno ya le fallé a una pensé que no le iba a fallar y fall terminé fallando la del viernes sí pero sí es, es muy bueno y ustedes también enseña, okay. enseña bien da la oportunidad mejor dicho da la confianza a que aunque se equivoque eh, a alguien o eh, se puede expresar pues, a lo que puede. Okay. Entonces ahí es donde se va quitando el miedo y se va mejorando. Yes. Ok. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, Johnny, what about the homework uh, on the platform? Las tareas son bien. Ah. Están bien. Sí, eh, como eso es lo que, lo que vemos en clase, pero usted nos dice que, how do you say, esa trampa. ¿Cómo es que, que, que decía que las oraciones que son erróneas? Mistake. Mistake. 
Exacto. Ah, Entonces, de primero no le, no, me costó hallarle un poquito de decir, pero no es así, pero ninguna de las respuestas es así. Ah, uh -huh. entonces, mistake. Ok, uh -huh. ok, perfecto. Y esa, y, uh -huh. entonces, y de ahí lo otro, fíjate, tengo el libro, uh -huh. lo imprimí. Sí. Ok. Pero, este, más que todo, la explicación, como usted la da de la, de la, hace tiene la presentación de la clase, ¿verdad? Entonces, ya cuando quiero eh, ver el libro, ¿a qué es lo que estamos viendo? Ahí es donde me pierdo, no sé por dónde vamos. Ok, en el libro nosotros vamos, ya le voy a decir por dónde vamos, porque del libro sacamos eh, básicamente algunas de las actividades que realizamos. Ya le, uh -huh. ya le enseño. Porque ahorita esa, esa página que tengo es la Unit 2, que es el Daily Routines. Correcto. Correcto. Bye. Espérenme, ahorita, ahorita le digo. Solo me va a cargar eso y se lo enseño. Porque eso fue lo primero que imprimimos todo. Pero creo que nadie lo está llevando. Nadie lo está llenando. Sí, es que eh, con el libro nosotros básicamente, yo lo que hago recorto las imágenes, no es que les enseñe el libro. Entonces, Ajá, sí, ustedes... sí, usted hace su propia presentación. Ajá. Vaya, con el libro, vamos por aquí, miren. Ahorita le enseño. Okay. Permítanme. Bueno, con el libro vamos exactamente acá. Aquí. Eh, cuadro de listening. Va, esto, esto básicamente lo hicimos. Eh, ¿Es usted cuando hicimos esto? ¿Lo de Katie's? Sí, sí. sí. Vale, entonces pasamos esto, vimos esto, vimos esto, hicimos un diálogo eh, y esto vamos a ver mañana. Esto de aquí. Daily routine. Es. El don't, las negativas. Correcto. Affirmative es, negatives. Ah, aquí está. Exacto. How do you use simple present, affirmative sentence, statement y negative statement? Uh -huh. Eso. Sí. Entonces, es mañana. Es, sí, sí. Es el, la página, la 23, 23. Entonces, mañana vamos a comenzar con esto. Esto es más que todo un ejercicio aplicado porque ve la imagen y vamos a resolver esto, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, mañana vamos con esto y con esto. Son okay. dos. Entonces, eh, básicamente, algunas de las cosas que están aquí, las vemos, pero de una manera más práctica. Porque no nos sirve de nada estar llenando solamente el libro y que no practique. ¿verdad? Entonces, en este uh -huh. caso, lo que estamos haciendo es llevar el libro y la práctica al mismo tiempo. Entonces, mañana nos toca esta página y esta. Ok. Uh -huh. Sí, es que yo le preguntaba eso porque de igual manera es, creo que se me hace más fácil eh, tener el libro, darle yes. una repasada antes de la clase. Sí, definitivamente. Y saber por dónde voy, por lo menos. Ajá, sí. ya, se, ya me ubiqué. Uh -huh. Por la uh -huh. página 23. Vamos por la sí. 23 y después la 24. Y bueno, después solo nos quedan estas. Básicamente que ya es lo último. Ya. De la primera, de la, de la unidad, ¿no? ¿verdad? Que es lo que vamos uh -huh. a, a terminar esa semana. Entonces, básicamente, pues, es ahí vamos. Por aquí. Sí, sí. Ok. Ya me, ya me vale. eh, veamos alguna otra pregunta, alguna duda de un tema que, que pues, no eh, tenga alguna duda o que no lo comprenda muy bien. No, lo, lo de presente simple es es lo, como que lo más tranquilo por decirlo uh -huh. ya cuando estamos aplicando la, los cambios de los verbos es donde se pone un poco más difícil sí y los, es tiempos, lo, los sí. tiempos los uh -huh. tiempos y los verbos también verdad que cambian sí. bastante que poco a poco vamos viendo un poquito más porque tampoco es de saturarlos demasiado verdad así que eh, lo que estamos haciendo es como Hacerlo de una manera más como participativa, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes vayan sí. agarrando como el, la idea 
pero sí, hay momentitos que vemos gramática, entonces cuando vemos gramática es como que a veces sí nos perdemos un poquito, pero eh, ya con la práctica y la gramática junta ya ustedes pues empiezan como a, a tener ese, ese, ese como cambio, ¿verdad? Que se hace. Sí. Uh -huh. Yo por eso, a mí me gusta siempre escribir por eso, porque así a, se acuerda, ¿verdad? la gramática Ajá. Uh -huh. y lo escucho, entonces como que... Sí. Sí. Vale. Eso le digo a, yo a mis compañeros, y bueno, escribí la clase, no, nadie le escribe. <ríe> sí, es que algunos es cierto, no, no toman notas, entonces cuando les pongo los ejercicios, así que lo que estuvieron haciendo ahora, eh, eh, algunos me dicen, Tichi, ¿de dónde lo escribo? En su <ríe> cuaderno, ¿verdad? En su cuaderno, tiene que tener sí. un cuaderno. Entonces quizás piensen como solo van a estar como viendo la, las las eh, diapositivas, pero en realidad la presentación, pero en realidad deberían de tener un cuaderno, ¿verdad? no sé si eso se lo dicen al inicio, pero se debe tener su cuadernito para que vayan como anotando vocabulario y no se les olvide. ¿Qué estudiante no tiene un cuaderno? Estudia sin cuaderno. <ríe> sí, entonces eh, es bien importante que usted lo tenga y si a usted pues se le es fácil que de esa manera como escribir, uh -huh. entonces pues siga haciéndolo, porque en realidad creo que es lo mejor, ¿verdad? Para que usted no se le olvide y también el siguiente día ya usted solo ve, ah, si sí vimos eso y eso y esto, porque siempre va como enlazado, todo va enlazado. Entonces, sí, es... para que usted no tenga duda, ¿verdad? Sí, también. Uh -huh. Pero sí. Vale. Entonces, eh, bueno, bien, lo que me alegra es que pues se siente bien, ¿verdad?, Lastimosamente, como usted mismo dice, a veces por lo de su trabajo, no se puede conectar como las dos horas exactas, ¿verdad? Pero eh, tratemos cuando podamos de sí conectarnos las dos horas. Y pues el feedback de mí para ustedes es que es súper participativo, John. Ok, cuando usted le pregunto algo, siempre pues me, me responde. ¿verdad? Entonces eso es muy bueno. No sé si le respondo bien porque no me dice si me equivoco. Pero, pero... <risa> si yo no le digo que se equivoca, entonces no se ha equivocado. Pero okay. eh, la mayoría de veces, eh, básicamente, creo que el simple, pre, el simple present usted lo, lo maneja un poquito bien, porque en realidad, si yo no le digo que usted se equivoca, es porque usted no se ha equivocado. Cuando usted se equivoca, yo sí lo voy a corregir siempre, ¿verdad? Porque es esencial, Ajá. pero mientras usted no se equivoque, yo no lo corrijo, ¿verdad? Sí, Entonces, por favor. Pero, eh, bien, básicamente, pues, ese es mi feedback para usted. Le, le aconsejo que siga estudiando, que siga practicando, ¿verdad? Y que no pierda la motivación, porque en realidad el idioma inglés es muy bonito y pues aquí estamos, ¿verdad? Cualquier duda, pregunta. Esencial, mire que nosotros, la empresa en que trabajamos es, son ingleses los dueños. No vienen aquí todavía, lo más cerca que vienen es aquí a Guatemala, pero es que tal si algún día viene. Yeah. Sí, entonces usted tiene que meterle el inglés. Uh -huh. Ok, no se desmotive, siga aprendiendo y pues échele ganas, ¿sí? Siempre. Vale, perfecto. Entonces cualquier cosa o duda me pregunta. Así que ahora sí, vaya a comer, buen provecho. Ok, y I'll see you back tomorrow. Have a good night. Ok. Gracias. Igual. Thank you. Ok, bye bye. Perfecto.